Hello everyone. My, my, my. 12.30, Monday, 2023. It's time for you and me to have, you know what I'm talking about. It's time to discuss it with Drake. Uh, welcome to episode 109. That's right. And today's quick topic is five things to keep in mind in regarding granite countertops. All right. So before we get started, once again, if you ever missed an episode, please just go over to YouTube, type in Drake's Real Estate TV, hit subscribe, and then you'll get to see some of the playlists that I've created. Yes, I'm getting fancy now. So and if you do stop by now, please say hello in the comments so I can say hello to you in a, in a few minutes. So let's get started. The interior design industry has been trying for years to break homeowners' addiction to granite countertops. So they've introduced stainless, Concrete, I like concrete, uh, glass, uh, quartz, wood, marble, and other ideas to wing people away. But the alternative services, you know, they just don't have the luxury look that granite does. So if you're getting granite countertops for the first time, here are five things that you should, that you should consider, okay? Number one, you gotta choose the right stone. Granite, well, that's a general term that describes the type of granular igneous rock. You know, depending on where the granite is quarried, it can be stunning, you know, with streaks of gray, pink, red, green, blue, and even gold. The rarity of the vein of granite uh, can drive up the price considerably, as well as the thickness uh, and the type of fabrication that you're actually choosing. So when you shop for granite, don't choose from a sample. Don't. You're basically buying the whole slab. So that's how you should be shopping, okay? They're actually really fun to do. So you look only at whole slabs as the fabricator will use as much as possible to match sections and to minimize waste. Sometimes it's possible actually to buy two or more slabs from the same lot and they are sliced just like pieces, you know, just like pieces of toast. So they can actually accommodate large kitchens. And if they're put back to back, they actually form a beautiful uh, butterfly or um, mirror image of each other. So the beauty of granite is the movement of the color and the pattern of the streaks, you know, so choose wisely. Uh, a strong graphic pattern, of course, is going to be highly energizing, while softer, cooler colors. Uh, um, next, granite is sold by the square foot. You can get an idea of the number of square feet that you need by multiplying you know, the length by width for each section of the kitchen, the countertops, possibly the backsplashes. Don't forget the island, very important. And then you're gonna add those all together. But you know, that's not all there is to measuring because you need to talk about edge allowances, seam allowances, sinks, and possibly other things uh, to consider. So generally tell your salesperson how many square feet you need but make sure that you get that number over to the fabricator because they're the ones that are going to come over and do the measuring accurately. Okay, meanwhile, your cabinets should already be installed before the fabricator comes out. Uh, most of your appliances are going to fit under the countertops, but if you're installing um, a new sink or cooktop, then the fabricator is also going to need those measurements. So let the fabricator take the measurements. That way the fit is guaranteed. That looks like I'm popular today. Um, not all granite slabs are sliced the same, so expect to pay more for a three inch thickness than a one inch thickness. So if you choose a thick granite, make sure that your cabinets can support that much weight. Next, you'll choose an edge that's bullnose, OG, beveled, or raw edged. And the finish can also change the look of the granite. You can have, you know, polished granite is glossy and reflective. Uh, honed granite is a smooth matte finish. And then there's my favorite, leathered, which is a real nice textured finish. It feels beautiful. Anyways, you also want to ask for as few seams as possible. So if you're doing a large area like the kitchen, you want to use as few seams as possible um, so that the flow of the granite pattern um, and color is less interrupted. A seamless slab in a kitchen looks beautiful. It actually holds more value than seam pieces because it looks like a work of art. So to ask the fabricator if any of the parts of the job can be done without a seam. Sometimes it's very possible depending on the design of your kitchen. I actually had my seams put by the sink, so it's actually much less noticeable. Um, and of course, you, you try to keep your island in one piece. To save money, you can choose granite tiles, 
which is like a tile, so there will be no seams. However, you know, they add very little value to your home and um, they're often just like leftovers from other jobs, but they're suitable for small jobs. Uh, where you don't have um, much other granite, you know, like a powder bath or maybe a laundry. But my opinion is granite tiles are cheap, so don't do it. Anyways, uh, granite does require care. Okay, granite is fairly heat resistant and easy to clean. But you should keep in mind that it's also porous. It can crack, chip, stain, and show scratches. So don't put hot pans directly on the surface. Please use your trivet or a hot pad. And use only granite safe cleansers, okay? Don't use bleach, ammonia, scouring pads, or anything acidic, you know, such as lemon, you know, or vinegar to clean. And don't use just soap to clean it as it can leave a dulling film on the surface. You know, spills of wine, juice, tomato sauce, all that stuff should be cleaned up as quickly as possible. So some finishes, you know, act as a posh, you know, more of a seal, but you can also purchase granite sealers at your mark, as your mark, because just wipe it on once a year. Or so to keep those countertops looking their best okay and if you're wondering whether a countertop actually needs sealing well spill some clean water on, on one side of the surface and cover it with a paper towel if it leaves a stain it will go away eventually but at least you know that it's time for that sealant so bottom line is if you think that you know everything about countertops don't take it for granted anyways that's all i have for you today i hope you found it interesting i do i love granite countertops come back next week I want to give you a shout out to Realty Times today for providing all the information that I provided to you today. And as always, please don't keep me secret. Share this with people that you know. And if there's a topic that you'd like me to cover here in 2023, let me know and I'll get it on the calendar. I hope that you, yes, you have a fantastic week. Be kind to one another and don't forget to live, laugh, and love. And until next week, when we see each other again, contact Drake for Homes. Thanks, everyone. See you later. Happy New Year.